Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in if you're new. Today we're going to review the 400 watt lightweight suitcase by Renergy. We're going to take a look at the in-depth review, durability, weight, how well it does charging the solar system in our camper van, charging battery banks, and even running air conditioners. This unit right here is perfect if you're camping, overlanding, uh, you live off grid or do any type of solar power on your building. So let's take a look, dive in. We'll start with a little unboxing here. All right, here we have it, the solar panel suitcase. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and uh, some chapters below. You can skip ahead of the unboxing if it's not your thing to get more into the, the details, but this thing is gonna change if you're an RVer, overlander, camper, prepper, you're trying to do solar panels in your building. This is gonna change it for good. Let's take a look. A box within a box here would look like. Pretty well packed. <laughs> oh. Let's go this way. These two boxes are suction cupped together. There we go. There's the actual product box. If you're interested, they just must sh have a shipping box in the product box. Um, but the RSP 400 LSC is the model number. I'll put that information below as well. As expected, it is packaged quite well. Let's get this guy. Turn it around. So first and foremost here has a nice carrying case. Zoom. Instructions, pretty straightforward there. Warranty card, and I'll cover that as well. Um, they have a really good warranty system. And let's take a look. there so the first thing I'm gonna notice right away we tried a suitcase um, about a year ago and it was definitely heavy and the panels were a bit larger so we couldn't really fit it in the back of the van the way we wanted to so the last one was pretty heavy trying to pick up with two arms um, this is definitely different here I mean they have taken that lightweight down and, and made a pretty big change so that's good as normal, let's pop this guy open. Renergy is absolutely fantastic, number one. If you look at their product reviews, let me just go ahead and set this up like we're gonna plug it in. So, I mean, as you can see, unboxing with the bag set up, very easy process. Renergy is famous for, and we have Renergy on the top already. I mean, build quality, taking a look at these stands, everything you expect from Renergy. High quality product, it actually looks really good as well, and pretty small. So, I'll take a look at all the specs. I believe it's around 30 pounds instead of 47, like my last one. Very easy to move around, but four 100 watt panels. And uh, there's your very quick and dirty unboxing. Let's get it plugged in. Okay, so real quick, just once again, I wanna cover kind of the packaging and build quality. Uh, it was packaged phenomenally, what you expect from a company like Renergy. But again, build quality. The actual stands um, are good metal, still keeping it lightweight. Uh, like I said, our old suitcase was almost 50 pounds, um, but the panels are really well put together. Strong metal hinges. I just really like the build quality, something that Renergy seems to always do, so that's pretty fantastic. And you can probably see by the color, they are monocrystalline panels, so that uses the higher grade silicon for a much more efficient panel, um, something that I always have. The ones on the van are kind of first gen of, of what that offered. Um, they do have a pretty short cable on here. The one thing I'll kind of note, why I have them towards the back of the van here. Um, from what I can see in the packaging, there is no uh, jump cable, so that is up to you 
uh, to provide. So the jump cable that I've always had is pretty small. Got them to the back here so I can plug them into our solar panel, our solar connections right around the corner. So just keep in mind, if you're gonna do this, make sure you have uh, some type of extension cable so you can move it around and keep it in the sun. That's probably pretty normal there. But I'm gonna pop up get it connected. I've had the uh, the top solar panels disconnected from yesterday um, and let's just kind of take a look how this performs right after I unlock the door. It is a little tight in there. You find a way to fill your uh, camper van with about anything you can for travels. All right, welcome into Eddie Vander here. We have uh, the entire system, like I mentioned, off solar, um, two stage of lights. We have the water pump, um, the fridge, and six 110 um, outlets with USB and 12 volt outlets everywhere. But so again, this is almost seven years next month will mark seven years traveling full-time without plugging in let's uh let's take a look at the power here so i did unbox yesterday and plug it in to make sure i had the right cables for this video um and uh, i see i got enough power to get it up to float charge so what you're looking at there is float charge about 57 almost 60 volts um right now on float about an amp or two uh down to a half to an amp or two so we'll have a second test i'll plug it directly into um a battery bank that i have as well from anchor so we can kind of get a second test there but um as you can see it's running everything our fans i'm sure you're getting some light flicker in here um the fridge um but we are float charged right now so that's all right, but let's take a look at a few more tests and uh, take a look at the, uh, the battery bank and get more of a direct input since the battery bank is not at a float charge, John. Good work. All right, test number two. Let's see if I can do a little better here. We have our uh, solar panels lined up here. Our sun cuts straight across in that direction. Got our anchor. It is an 88 amp hour battery, lithium ion. Been on here for about an hour and 45 minutes. We're at 80% from zero to 80% in hour 45. And it is currently charging about 314 watts. Don't mind the uh, carpenter bees. They're all over the place here in South Carolina. Um, so again, in less than two hours, we're already at 82% from just a second ago. We're going to plug in and run the air conditioning in this building. Kind of see what type of pull that takes. And the, the sun's not even directly above the panels. Right now we're charging at about 337 watts. Uh, the sun is not directly, it's actually quite off lay. So it's not even directly in front of the panels yet for its highest efficiency. And of course a cloud just went through. All right, got the air conditioning plugged in. The nice thing is we have a really nice sunny day for this. Plenty of sun for the solar panels. Not so good for shooting in direct sunlight, but bear with me here. I wanna take a look at how the panels will do charging, why we have a 12,000 BTU um, mini split unit running in on there. Just kind of a comparison for energy in, energy out. So far at two, 313, there's some very thin clouds there, but 313 watts in. Just on startup, we're, we're about 34 watts out, but we're at 85% already. 85 yeah i mean this is just going up and up so and it's frozen in there it's it's a nice uh, little unit there so in less than two hours and 15 minutes for example some of that running an actual air conditioner um we're going to be at 87 percent charge and that's a little under a 90 amp hour lithium ion all right finally out of the sun uh, tests are done one of them a little more efficient than the other what are you going to do about that um, i just want to kind of go over some pros and cons of this particular suitcase uh, the main thing that stands out to me right away is really twofold uh, the weights i looked at it uh weighed it myself um looks at right about 30 30.1 um, the website says 30.2 so pretty accurate there the build quality the handle itself for lifting is all metal uh, double screwed in each of the hinges is metal and the actual stand 
the things you pop out in each panel is, is metal. So, I mean, something I've kind of come to recognize as standard for Renergy, but build quality is something they definitely look at. The efficiency of those monocrystalline panels, once again, just outstanding. Renergy does make a, a pretty official, uh, efficient, let's try that, uh, panel. And um, using that product, that silicone just makes it more efficient. Um, so that's very easily actually got my batteries in the uh, van yesterday to float, which I didn't even know when I was testing to make sure I had the right cables. And um, we've seen under load, um, got the 88 amp hour uh, battery from zero to around 80, 82 in hour 45 and under a load of the air conditioner uh, up to almost 100. Uh, if you travel a lot, if you're an overlander or have an RV, anything like that, the main thing is you always understand that you really don't have the perfect spot to park that's level and functional all the time. So sometimes some of my panels uh, get light, sun, and some of them don't, or, or as the sun moves, it moves into shade, and I'm not gonna move my van. Uh, the main benefit of this is you can actually pop it out um, away from your vehicle. Um, keep in mind the farther, the longer the cable is, you get a little additional loss there. Um, but the main thing is you're still able to charge your batteries all day long. Um, a couple of the cons, I guess I didn't really see too much. I'm just uh, kind of impressed with the product itself. I do wish it came with a cable, 10, 15, 20 feet, um, something of this. Maybe they don't know what length of cable that you need. Um, so they prefer you get your own because if you do if they send a cable and then you plug your cable into it to make it longer, um, that connection also, it's pretty small, but any type of connection, you lose a little bit of your solar as well. So a little efficiency. Maybe that is why, I don't know. But Renergy, if you're listening, I wouldn't mind just including some type of jump cable uh, in there. If you happen to be charging you know, any type of solar, this is an 88 amp hour or something much bigger. Now, these companies traditionally will send uh, a connection with so so maybe you don't need it there but if you're plugging directly into a, to a um, rv or any type of um, char charge controller like that you're going to need one so there's kind of my thought um, but anytime you got to port move something like this around you still got to find proper storage for it so i guess i'll still leave that in the con department um, but that's really all i have of kind of pros and cons i'm pretty impressed with it there's not a lot of downside um, to the product so there you have that so the one thing I do want to talk about, if you're actively looking for a solar suitcase for any reason, uh, like I mentioned, RVing, overlanding, houses like this, um, uh, just kind of a comparison. So maybe you're not even familiar with Renergy. Uh, it is a fantastic company. Um, but the main thing is the, the build quality, the lightweight. If you do want something lightweight, definitely smaller. And if you are looking for a suitcase, a solar suitcase like this, I highly, highly recommend at least hitting Renergy's website. I'll leave that information below. Uh, and uh, I'll leave an Amazon link below on this. Um, I'd appreciate it if you're looking at it, give that a click. It uh, doesn't make any change to you, no cost difference. It gives me a couple pennies. So I do greatly appreciate that. Um, but at least investigate this product. I think you're gonna find it in one of the highest realms of, of products. There are some cheaper ones out there, most certainly, some more expensive ones as well. The last one that we bought was a little bit more of just a little, you know, Amazon side company I wasn't familiar with and just wasn't happy with it. And I'll give my final conclusions and thoughts here. Um, I know you've been waiting for this, especially since that van test went so well, but keep in mind, these are the panels that got it to float charge. Um, but you know, hey, the test didn't go so well. Uh, the main thing, my thoughts, is I don't think I have seen or tested any better suitcase. Pretty positive. I like the product. I like there's that much metal on it. Um, I like that the build quality is good. I personally like that it's from Renergy, their customer service, and I believe it has a three-year warranty that comes with it, which is absolutely outstanding. Um, I don't think there's much to lose here. So if you are looking for it, I highly recommend. I always say, do your own research, look into it yourself. I think you find the same thing. I'll end here with, again, I do have a link below for the product. I would greatly appreciate if you click that for your investigation or purchasing. It does help support the channel just a little bit. I get a couple pennies if you do order with no change to you. Right down there, my friends, if you could hit that like button, um, it really helps this crazy YouTube algorithm for small channels like us. I do greatly appreciate it. Missy appreciates it. If you know anybody else looking for a suitcase or interested in solar, please share the video, get that word out there. And uh, as we always say, keep adventuring, live your own adventure, and uh, we're going to see you on the next time.